This is the Varla Eagle One Pro, a brand new all-terrain electric scooter, and one of the least expensive scooters you can buy with 11-inch tires. Varla is known for good bang for the buck, so we're super excited to have early access to their new flagship and see how its tested performance and ride stack up both on and off-road. When you hear Varla Eagle One, this very well-known scooter is probably what comes to mind. But the Eagle One Pro is a completely different beast. Weighing in at 90 pounds and rolling on 11-inch tubeless tires, the Eagle One Pro is Varla's first beast scooter and comes with a battery 52% larger than the Eagle One. According to their spec sheets, they both have the same power, but our testing revealed that the Eagle One Pro is much, much faster, but we'll cover that in the performance section. The build of the Eagle One Pro is solid and so original that it's almost in a category by itself. Light heavyweight scooters like the Phantom, v 10 Plus, and Mantis all have 10-inch tires and are under 80 pounds. In contrast, the Beast scooters we've tested like the Wolf King GT, Dualtron Storm, and Nami all have 11-inch tires and weigh over 100 pounds. At 90 pounds, the Eagle One Pro stands almost alone with only one other Beast scooter, the original Dualtron Thunder. The stem has zero wobble and is held in place by a type of stem latch we haven't seen before. It spins into place and is backed up by a security pin. Our stem initially had a stem creak reminiscent of pretty much every Dualtron, but applying a small amount of grease to the latch completely eliminates the sound. The 3.5 inch display reminds us of the ones used on the Nami and the Wolf King GT, but the numbers on the Eagle One Pro's display are larger, making them easier to read. The display has a built-in NFC key reader, so the scooter is more secure, but takes a couple extra seconds to turn on. If you don't feel like carrying the key with you, some phones can be programmed to mimic NFC keys. We love the ergonomics of thumb throttles because they let you cover the brake and throttle at the same time, so you can switch from one to the other quickly. The Eagle One Pro uses the same throttle as the Nami and the Wolf King GT, which means it also has the same dead zone. So here's the best way to use it. Anchor your thumb here and then rock your thumb into the throttle like this. This stabilizes your thumb and gives you a reference point since the throttle engages right as your thumb is even with the housing. At 40.6 miles per hour, the Eagle One Pro's top speed is well above average when compared to other $2,200 scooters. But if you catch it on sale, its top speed per dollar is truly exceptional. Be sure to use the link in the description and ESG discount code to save 80 bucks. Range is also outstanding at 36.1 miles thanks to larger, energy-dense 21700 battery cells. The only scooter we've tested within $500 of the Eagle One Pro that can touch its tested range is the Wolf Warrior X Pro. Zero to 15 takes just 2.1 seconds, just two tenths behind the VSET 10 Plus, the quickest light heavyweight we've ever tested and one-tenth behind the Dualtron Thunder, a famously fast beast scooter. It's also an exceptional hill climber, beating the majority of similarly priced scooters up our test hill. During my range test, it easily sustained more than 30 miles per hour up steep inclines, all the way down to 10% charge. While the cable actuated brake levers may not feel as nice to squeeze as hydraulic brakes, the Eagle One Pro's mechanical disc brakes leave nothing on the table when it comes to performance. It stops from 15 miles per hour in just 10.1 feet, tying the VSAT 10 Plus and beating the Wolf King and both the Burn E and Burn E2. Varla designed the Eagle One Pro as an all-terrain scooter, so we decided to see where it works best. On the road, its suspension feels a little stiff for my 165-pound rider weight and a little bouncy, but in the dirt, the quick suspension and stiff springs help the scooter handle large bumps and prevent it from bottoming out. The Eagle One Pro has huge ground clearance at 6.5 inches, the same as the Wolf King GT. This comes in handy when rolling over curbs or large rocks in the trail. The 11-inch road tires do a decent job in hard dirt and gravel, and being tubeless means you're much less likely to get a pinch flat if you hit a rock. If you spend more time off-road than on, you can double your traction in the dirt for about 100 bucks by picking up a set of self-sealing tubeless knobby tires like the ones used on the Wolf King GT. On the other hand, if you're more road-focused, I'd be tempted to upgrade the shocks to adjustable ones like the ones on the Nami to eliminate the bounce. It's not mentioned on their spec sheet, but the Eagle One Pro has built-in steering damping. This means you'll have to push harder on the bars when turning into corners, but the benefit is improved high-speed stability. At top speed, it's still not quite as stable as dual stem scooters like the Wolf King GT, but feels similar to a Dualtron Thunder or a Nami with a damper install. While cockpit ergonomics are excellent, the deck feels a little short. 
When you have a scooter that makes a lot of power, you need a wide stance to keep your balance. So on the Eagle One Pro, that means you'll be using the rear footrest a lot. Between the heavy feel of the steering, the sporty riding stance, and the intense acceleration, the Eagle One Pro is exhilarating to ride, but can also be a bit of a workout when you're riding hard. When it comes to portability, the Eagle One Pro is lighter than every other Beast scooter we've tested, but has one odd quirk. It's not that the stem takes a while to fold, that's pretty typical. It's not that the stem doesn't last to the deck, Beast scooters typically don't. And it's not that it doesn't pass the trunk test, you won't find a Beast scooter that does. The quirk is the unusual way you need to pick it up. Your hand naturally goes here, at which point you're grabbing the rear tail light. The light itself feels strong, but just to be safe, make sure to lift the scooter from here. If you absolutely had to, one person could haul it upstairs, but it's not something you'd want to do as part of your daily commute. The headlight on the Eagle One Pro is spectacularly good. At 900 lumens, the headlight is about as bright as one headlight on a car, and among the very best headlights we've seen. It's even bright enough to use in the daytime to help cars see you coming. As happy as we were about the headlight, turn signals are something we've come to expect on a scooter of this size, and the Eagle Pro just doesn't have them. We hope to see them added on future versions, though. Pros include big tires and big performance at a relatively small price, a good looking, easy to read display, great cockpit ergonomics, and a no wobble stem with built in damping. Cons include stiff steering, under damp suspension, and the short deck is less comfortable for long rides. While you're doing your research, here are a few other scooters with similar price and performance. Wolf Warrior X Pro. Better suspension and handling, but slower acceleration and cockpit ergonomics aren't as good. Beset 10 Plus. Higher top speed and acceleration, but shorter range. And Wolf Warrior 11. Higher top speed and smoother suspension, but 18 pounds heavier and much more expensive. The Eagle One Pro is in a category all its own. Bigger than a Vissette 10 Plus or Phantom, but lighter than a typical beast scooter. Who's it for? We think heavier riders and those who want to take it off-road will like it right out of the box. On the other hand, riders under 170 pounds and those who like to carve corners will find that it does some things really well, but could be elevated to greatness with the addition of hydraulic shocks. But no matter which group you're in, the Eagle One Pro's performance is still great bang for the buck. Don't forget to use the link in the description and ESG discount code to save $80. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Check out two of our other favorite beast scooters below.